Hey guys, so we are doing completely bare. Control, hair, delete, hair removal cream. So if you remember, I got this or I received this with the influencer box, um, one of the free products that I got to sample and try. So um, I'm going to do this on my stash. And I also have uh, my teenage daughter who's also gonna do it on her stash model. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's open it up. Remember when I was doing my unboxing and I was like, guys, what, what is this? Like, why? But here we go. So this is what we're gonna use. And it says, here are some of the deets on it. Argan oil and aloe vera moisturize and soothe. Easy to use, targeted dual sided tip for quick application and hair removal. Has an on off twist cap top i just completely read that wrong on off twist top to keep applicator clean in between uses paraben and phthalate free so don't be zooming in trying to see if i'm reading correctly <laughs> perform patch test before use okay read and follow all directions and warnings before use and um, apply generously to the area which we will be doing. And it's gonna be, we're gonna use the pin applicator to spread evenly to fully coat the hair you want to remove, but do not rub it into your skin. Don't do rub it not. in. Um, and then we gotta wash our hands right after and then leave the cream off for three minutes. If you have tough to remove skin, which I don't think we do, or, or not skin, hair, um, you can leave it for up to five minutes, but it says don't do it past five minutes. After your minutes, wipe the treated area with damp washcloth to remove, which we have ready. And then after that, you rinse your skin thoroughly with water to remove the cream completely and pat dry. So this product, oh, is that how you do it? No. <laughs> like the influencer people, the makeup people always do this, right? So anyway, it says that um, this product is also suitable for the body, legs, and arms. Oh, I guess instead of doing the, because I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot. You don't have a lot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I could have did it on my arm or something so y'all could see, but well, my arm is not a lot either. Okay, what? Well, oh, legs. Ooh, arm. Uh, look, 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 look. You, <laughs> okay. didn't, you, you are not about to expose me on social media. Okay. For your so, Facebook friends. We are going to, it has all of the ingredients. That's a long list, right? So that's kind of scary. And then all of the warnings, even longer list. That's also kind of scary. But let's try it. <laughs> Twist cap. Keep out of reach of children. That's the first thing it oh, says. It is not a twist cap. Oh, they lied. <laughs> this is a pull off cap. Wait. Wait, is this off on twist? So this oh. is the off. <laughs> this is the off on twist. Like, look, can you see that it says? Ooh. That's for people who have a light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this says off. You can't see. You can't see that. Can you see that? And then this side says on. You can kind of see that, right? Anyway, this little applicator is clear plastic. You hear it? Burn, 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 burn. Okay, so it has the arrow. Right now it's on the off position. We are going to twist it to on. Because it's a twist cap. Okay, now remember, apply on there, but do not... Don't rub it in. Rub it in. That's Spread bad. evenly. So we're going to squeeze and spread. Oh, wait. Hold on. Right here. Ready? Oh, look. Let me show y'all. It only actually comes out on one side. So I was rubbing her on the whole other side where nothing was coming out. So it only, see, dry on this side. But there's something on this side. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try it again. 
How does it feel going on? Cold. And it's really easy because of this tip that you don't even have to rub it in. It really just helps you apply it. It's almost like painting. Okay, so. And it doesn't stink like you would imagine it to. It doesn't smell like traditional. That, it doesn't uh, smell like traditional paint. hair removal. Cream. Okay, I can't look at y'all. I have to look at myself in the mirror. Wait, because you did you. I want to, or you did me. I want to do you. Yeah, that's not happening. That's <laughs> not happening. You know how when you drink some milk and then you get like a milk mustache? Yeah. Yeah, that's what this looks like. Yeah, she's right. You can smell it's like, oh, that's all on my cheek. Like medicine y. But not like stinky medicine-y. You know how you have like some medicine that stuff smell. <laughs> My bad. Like how you have some medicine that smells good, but it's weird that it smells good, so you just get mad. That that type. No, to me it smells like hair remover or like bengay. But what is bengay? Like icy hot sort of stuff. You're old. You're not old enough to know what bengay is, but yeah, that's what it smells like. So, are you? You're the only one with a watch. Are you not doing time? I was looking at the clock. Oh, so what did we start? We started at 5.30. We did not start at 5.30. Yes, we did. Oh, okay. Okay, Mom. so it's been one minute for her and less than that for me. So um, while this is on our lips or our upper lip, let's so even though it said, let's read some of this, like the uh, warnings and, and ingredients. Let's see on here. Is it burning you? Yep. It's not burning me. If I could tell, I mean, if y'all have ever done like Nair or anything like that, that's what it seems like. Oh, so. Why are you making that face? <laughs> Because <laughs> I was trying to take a picture when we were doing it. <laughs> we like look. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have mustaches for real, right? Um, it does have jojoba, vitamin E. What is that? Um, cacao seed uh, butter. It has flour extract. I mean, it has a lot of different types of flour extracts. Um, so I'll leave all the information. You can go to their website and find out, you know, their full ingredients list as well as their full warnings list. Um, of some of the main ones, don't use it on scars, varicose veins, moles, spotty, broken, irritated, sunburned skin, or skin that has previously had an adverse reaction to uh, hair removal cream. And then, of course, if you're on any type of medication, you always want to check with your physician to see if it's okay for you to have this sort of stuff. She's gonna wipe it off. Hers is done, right? Yeah, in four seconds. Um, and then, of course, don't use it in or on the eyes, nose, ears, anus, or genital areas. I can still hear you. You're not going. Oh. <laughs> and it also lets you know that your skin may um, be Burn. more sensitive after the use. So wait a full 24 hours to uh, before following, like putting on any, any like deodorant or perfume, tanning or swimming. I guess that's if you're in other areas, like if you put it on other areas of your skin. Okay. Up close, let, let's see. So you can see it's it got red while it was on it it kind of burned but maybe that's because i have sensitive skin but um now like it works all the hair is off uh yeah and okay. now it's your turn to now take while i take mine off she's gonna wash her uh cream off completely here you go So mine isn't as pink as hers was, but she's also lighter than me. 
So I could tell that, um, I mean, I didn't have a lot of hair to begin with. I just had, mine was like really fine. Whereas hers is kind of dark. Sorry. Um, but I could tell a little bit of, there was a little bit of irritation, just sensitivity, but that, you know, my skin does that like after a wax and stuff, you know, normally anyway, whether that's like the hair removal waxes, like the Nair or the creams or stuff like that, or even just regular um, waxing. So it's not uncomfortable. It's not, it doesn't hurt. Um, you could just definitely tell that there was something there. So uh, I would give this, I would say about five stars because it smells like it's supposed to smell. It's a hair removal cream, right? So it's not like it's supposed to smell like butterflies and roses and lilies and stuff. And then it doesn't um, hurt and it's not like, my, you know, my stuff is fine. I have to rinse my stuff off. And then after that, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it feels a lot better. After you rinse it, There, there's no irritation. Um, I guess just having it on for a long time yeah, it started to kind of itch um, a little bit, but after you wipe it off and then put cold water on your face, it feels better. Yeah, and I'm loving this applicator. Like I said, because of this applicator, it's really easy to put on and a little bit does go a long way. You have to turn it off. Oh, we're going to turn it off now. So you don't have that accident. Okay. So, like I said, I'll leave all the information down in the comments or info section. That way, if you want to get your own, you can. Thank you again, Completely Bare, and thank you again, uh, Influencer. Bye. Bye.